You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. And this time I'm gonna be playing something I should have tried. Like one of the first games I should be trying. And yeah, you can hear it. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade running on the PlayStation Classic. And this did not have like a uh, PS1 port. It was ported to the NES, we all know that, as a TMNT2, the arcade game. But as you can see, there's really quite a difference with the uh, graphics between this and the NES version, of course. And this is a game best played with, uh, really, best played with friends, of course. Which means not really possible on the PlayStation Classic, even if you have it modded, unless you have like a uh, USB hub in order to connect more than one controller. Which is uh, unfortunate. Maybe in a future update, we can have both. We can use the other USB port, the one at the back, so we can have two controllers and the front. So anyway, um, no performance issue here. And game looks great. And definitely a game well worthwhile to be placed on your thumb drive. Certified arcade classic. As with most Konami um, brawlers, or anyway, any Konami arcade game for the matter. I remember playing this in um, in a local arcade once, long ago. Of course. The uh, Ninja Turtles were really huge back then, but uh, I only played it just to see how different it was with the NES version. I didn't really like, try to finish it or something, or even try to get far, I just really tried it, literally one credit and see, and that's it. It was okay, but um, you know, being a kid back then, you don't really have that much uh, money for spending too much on the arcades. So I really ended up just uh, trying games here and there. I also rewatched the Secret of the Ooze movie. Um, oh boy, that didn't really age well. <laughs> um, you know, most of the time people would say uh, nothing beats the original, but. Uh, and after just watching that, I, I kind of suddenly think, you know, the Michael Bay ones wasn't 
wasn't really that bad. I mean, compared to... Um, what they had before. But I guess it's an unfair comparison, as they were released in a completely different... environment? Time? And I read that there's gonna be also a an, another new one in uh, Netflix. I'm not really sure about that one. I may just have misread it or something. My favorite is still the one where the 2000s Ninja Turtles crossed over with the 80s ones. That also crossed over with the original comic book first appearance. They were shown in black and white as well. Wow, that was really fun to watch. infinite lives here so you'll probably be able to finish this game in one sitting provided you have the time or if you don't just use a save state the NES version actually had more levels so that could be either both a good thing or a bad thing actually it could be good because you know more fun more action um, it's just that I, I found the levels quite boring to be honestly to be honest so it would have been better if for me, at least, would have been better if they kept it out. Just kept it uh, more faithful to the arcade and makes the game flow faster. That may be like an unpopular opinion, of course. trying to remember if there's actually any actual Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game released on the PlayStation 1. I don't think there is. Is that a Die Hard reference? I mean, did the kids watch Die Hard? <laughs> Isn't it for... Like a mature audience thing. Alright. 
game seems to be considerably easier than the NES version. But uh, alright, that's it for this video. This is... Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the Arcade. The first arcade game running on the PlayStation uh, Classic. And if you have any game requests, let me know in the comments. Please like and um, subscribe. Thanks for watching. 8-bit days a week.